Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Um, this is an example of applying implicit differentiation. Um, the reason we know that it's implicit differentiation is because we're given this equation of x, y, and z, and we're told that we need to find dz dt. So the fact that we have a dt down here tells us that we have to take the derivative with respect to time. Since we have an equation here which only relates x, y, and z and not t, that tells us that x, y, and z are all going to be treated as a function of t, which means that we're going to have to do implicit differentiation in order to solve this problem. So let's jump into it. Really with a problem like this, you know, we're given some information about x and y, dx dt, dy dt, really, you know, like I said, we already know we're doing implicit differentiation. The best place to start is to just take the derivative with respect to time of this equation. So we're just going to find d dt of both sides of this equation. And then we can worry about plugging in values. So let's start with the derivative of both sides with respect to time. Both of these sides of the equation are going to use chain rule to do this because we basically have to think about all three of these variables here, x, y, and z, are all a function, kind of our inside function. So if we're thinking chain rule, we want to do derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone. So we'll bring the two down in front, lower the power on our z by one, z to the one is just z, and then treating what's circled in green here, the z as our inside function, by chain rule, we have to multiply that by the derivative of our inside function. The derivative of z with respect to t is just going to be dz dt. And then, same idea over here, each of these are going to be treated just like this was. We're going to bring the 2 down in front, lower the power by 1, which just leaves us with x, and then multiply by the derivative of our inside function, which is x. So the derivative of x with respect to t is dx dt. And then same thing here, we're going to get bring the 2 down in front, lower the power by 1, multiply by the derivative of y. That's uh, having applied the implicit differentiation. Now what we, want, we can do is go ahead and plug in, obviously we're looking for dz dt, but we can plug in values for z, x, dx dt, y, dy dt. Looking at what we were given, we already know dx dt, dy dt, x, and y, but we don't know z. To find z, we can actually just go back to our original equation. We know that x, y, and z are related like this. We know what x and y are, so we can plug these into this equation and solve for z. So doing that is just going to give us z squared equals 5 squared plus 12 squared. 12 squared plus 5 squared, and then if we square root both sides, that'll cancel with the squared over here. And we'll just get z equals the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. If you plug that into a calculator, that'll just leave you with z equals 13. So if we know z equals 13, we could then plug this in here along with x dx dt, y, and dy dt, and solve for dz dt. So if we do that, we're going to get 2 times 13 times dz dt equals 2 x is 5, dx dt is given, it's 2, and then 2y is given as 12, and dy dt is given as 3. So plugging all that in, and then we can divide both sides by 2 times 13, which is 26, and then simplifying all this out, we're going to get 5 times 2 is 10, times 2 is 20, plus 2 times 12 is 24, times 3 is going to be 72 over 26. And simplifying this is going to tell us that dz dt equals 46 over 13. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's a great way to support the channel so I can keep making these videos for you. See you back next time.